89.9 The Wave, Halifax's greatest hits, Queen, another one bites the dust. Hey, how you doing this morning? It's the breakfast show. It's Bill. We've got Rick here, too. It's six degrees on the plus side. Showers and periods of rain begin later on this morning. A windy high of 10 expected. Before we uh, talk any further, uh, just briefly back to what we were talking about a few minutes ago, Rick, about uh, uh, the new Wonder Woman. Okay. Uh, Gal Gadot is going to play her in the next Superman sequel. Mm, interesting. And, and, well, I don't know. I, I, think, I personally think she's too skinny. Yeah. And then Lisa brought up, I cannot believe I forgot about this. When you think Wonder Woman, Linda Carter. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, Childhood Linda. crush. Y- yes. I like those ribbons of truth that she'd tie you up with. Ribbons of truth. It's the lasso of truth. Okay. Come on. <laughs> right. Somebody get him a Wonder Woman comic, please. <laughs> uh, feel free to comment on that, okay? <laughs> 653. Now, here's something interesting, okay? People have pets. People love their pets. Uh-huh. I love my pets. Now, according to PetFinder.com, a poll, 63% of dog owners and 58% of people with cats give their pets Christmas presents. What shocks me here is that I didn't think these numbers would be that low. Wow, yeah, because, I, I mean, I grew up with pets, and they, they are a four-legged member of your family. Are you kidding? My parents, I mean, my mother specifically, her dog is included in the, the shopping list for her kids. Okay. Okay? I think uh, Copper and I have a little jealous thing going on because I used to be... Uh, <laughs> Mama's boy. Okay. Now I've got to share that with the dog. Uh huh. That's fine. That's okay. I always remember my grandfather saying to my grandmother, "God, I get treated worse than the dog." <laughs> I thought so. I mean, I, I, I don't know. Do people like? Is this a comment? Like, do people not? But I, th- I think he, uh, this poll is off. Way off. Oh yeah, yeah. Those I, I, I would go as far as said that here in HRM, I believe that the high nineties, ninety percent. 95, 96, 90, get pets for their Easily. gifts for their pets. Yeah, I, I agree. So we want, just want to know how far do you go for for your pets at Christmas? I mean, do you give them a gift or do you go crazy? Like, I mean, do crazy in a good way. Do your pets have their own Christmas tree? <laughs> Don't laugh. I have friends that give their pets their own Christmas tree, little doggy ornaments and all that sort of stuff. Oh, cool. It's like, yeah, do they have their own stockings? Uh huh. You have yep. mom, yep. dad, kid, kid, dog. You know, they all come up yep. by the chimney with care and hopes that St. Nicholas soon will be there. My fish. I always made sure my fish got Christmas gifts. Come on, your fish. I'm kidding not. I'm not kidding. What would you give your fish yeah. for Christmas? Uh, some special food or, or you'd buy them more ornaments yeah. that you put in the in the aquarium and things like that. Well, look at you. Oh, yeah. I'm telling you. Look at look, Nothing look fishy there. about that. Nothing fishy about <laughs> that. All right, listen, over on our 89.9 The Way Facebook page, we want to know how far do you go for your pets at Christmas. Let us know. We're just dying to know how many people in HRM uh, do get Gifts for their pets at Christmas time. I think uh, the numbers here are going to be higher than according to this poll. Let us know. You've made your list. Checked it twice.